Just listen to what he has to say. So I'm a researcher. I, I do cancer research. I do wound healing research. So I have the tools to be able to actually take a look at how things work and how they're influenced by food, uh, right. as well as drugs. You know, what are the things that actually lead to a, the benefit that we actually want in our body? That's for that's 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 how you. It's important to understand how food as medicine research is actually conducted. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess Channel. That was Dr. William Lee, a physician, scientist, and author dedicated to exploring the power of food as medicine. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most popular and versatile fruits in the world, tomatoes. At the end, we'll share a delicious recipe for a tomato sauce made with ingredients that burn fat and fight cancer. Tomatoes are not only delicious, but also packed with a variety of nutrients and health benefits. They are a staple in many cuisines around the globe and can be enjoyed in countless ways raw, cooked, in sauces, soups, and salads. Tomatoes are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They are an excellent source of vitamin C, potassium, folate, and vitamin K. But what truly sets tomatoes apart is their high content of lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that gives tomatoes their vibrant red color. Lycopene has been extensively studied for its health benefits. It has been shown to reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including heart disease and cancer. Lycopene helps to protect cells from damage, lowers bad cholesterol levels, and has anti-inflammatory properties. Tomatoes are great for your heart. The combination of lycopene, potassium, and vitamin C helps to lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, and reduce the risk of heart disease. Incorporating tomatoes into your diet can contribute to better cardiovascular health. Studies have found that a diet rich in tomatoes is associated with a reduced risk of certain types of cancer, particularly prostate cancer. The antioxidants in tomatoes help to neutralize harmful free radicals in the body which can damage cells and lead to cancer. Tomatoes can also benefit your skin. The high levels of vitamin C and lycopene help to protect your skin from sun damage and improve overall skin health. Eating tomatoes regularly can contribute to a healthier, more radiant complexion. Tomatoes are incredibly versatile and easy to incorporate into your diet. Enjoy them fresh in salads. Make a delicious tomato sauce for pasta, add them to soups and stews, or simply snack on cherry tomatoes. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Now let's listen to Dr. Lee tell us some of the science of tomatoes and healthy eating and disease prevention. How do you get this information anyway? Well, here's here's the study um, that you were just referring to. It was a study that linked together the insights from a lot of research. Um, uh, the clinical study, what, what researchers of tomatoes have found that um, there's a carotenoid, it's a natural substance found in tomatoes. One of them is called lycopene. And lycopene from a, right. a tomato that you pick off the vine and just eat the fresh garden salad, it's got great vitamin C, it's got lots of fluid hydration it's got so even got some dietary fiber and other goodies in there that are that activate our body's health defenses but the lycopene is really interesting because you get good lycopene off the vine but if you and but when you eat it the body absorbs maybe 20 percent, 20 to 30 percent of it it's in a chemical structure that your body can recognize but you know not all of it gets absorbed is there a way to absorb more of the benefits of lycopene however when you heat up that lycopene you change naturally that chemical structure into a shape, because um, uh, chemicals all natural chemicals all have shapes that actually your body loves to absorb. So you can go from twenty percent of absorption to eighty percent absorption and get the more benefit more benefit out of the lycopene that you're eating yeah. for per tomato. Now, when you cook tomatoes, you never cook. Nobody cooks one tomato. You cook a bunch of tomatoes together into tomato sauce. So. Cooking cooked tomatoes change, gives you a lot more lycopene and a lot more lycopene in the form because of the heat that your body loves to absorb. Anything else about lycopene? One little other practical tip. Lycopene, for, to a scientist, when we look at the structure, the chemistry of lycopene, is fat soluble, meaning it likes to dissolve in oil. So what's the best way to heat up tomatoes? A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. That's the best way to heat tomatoes so you get the lycopene in the right position but guess what the olive oil also has polyphenols that are good for your health defenses one of them is called hydroxytyrosine i always tell people don't worry about memorizing the complicated chemical terms i'm telling you all you need to remember is extra virgin olive oil and tomatoes put them together heat them up how much do you need to have food doses becomes important as well how do we know how much tomatoes we should have 
So there is an amazing research study that's been going on for almost 30 years now. It's called the Health Professional Follow-Up Study. About 30,000 people, mostly men, who've been studied over decades to see how they eat and how they live their lives affects whether they develop diseases or not. And a, a big surprise that was found in this 30,000 person study was that men who ate two to three cups of cooked tomatoes, i.e. tomato sauce, each week, and that the amount was a half a cup only. You can eat more, more is better, but all you needed was half a cup, all right? Had a 29% lower risk, almost 30% lower risk of developing prostate cancer. Now, why, why could that be? You know, tomatoes lower the risk of prostate cancer. Well, it turns out lycopene does some amazing things. Lycopene cuts off the blood supply that would feed a prostate cancer. Cancers also need a blood supply to grow. And there's many of these natural substances in food. Food is medicine that can starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. That's what I talk about in my book, Eat to Beat Disease. But also I talk about it in my TED Talk. And we're doing even more work now that I'm teaching my course about the latest foods that can actually improve your blood vessel health. It's a really cool concept. Are there other foods that can have a similar effect as tomatoes? Um, and by the way, olive oil can also have the same beneficial, a similar beneficial effect. Olive oil, tomatoes, now you're getting a double whammy of goodness. So the dose is important yeah. because I always wondered, um, all right, so tomatoes are good. How much do I need to eat? Well, only half a cup of cooked tomatoes is a really uh, great thing. By the way, Reasonable. this study shows that even if you actually use canned tomatoes, it's still good. You still get that lycopene. Anything else about tomatoes? Now, let me tell you one more thing about tomatoes that's new. Because I wrote about this in my second book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, which is really about metabolism. And this is another thing that can help you lower the risk of cancer and other chronic diseases, including inflammatory diseases, and also lower the severity of, the, of, of, uh, of uh, inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid mm -hmm. arthritis. Mm -hmm. And that is, tomatoes can also lower body fat, harmful visceral body fat, by improving your metabolism. And a tomato lowers visceral body fat. How? How does it do this? Well, it turns out this, you know, Mother Nature is super smart. And what she did is Mother Nature said, well, I'm going to have, I'm going to make lycopene and these other natural food chemicals do perform lots of job functions. So if you can starve cancer, yeah, let's also make it a fight body fat to improve metabolism. So how does it do this? Well, think about it. I just told you lycopene loves to dissolve in oil and fat. So when you eat a tomato and you have lycopene in it, it will, the first thing it does is, you know, goes down your, you chew it up and it goes down your gut. Whether it's tomato sauce or a fresh garden tomato, goes the same thing goes, tumbles down to your stomach and it gets into your intestines and it gets, lycopene gets absorbed into your bloodstream. You know where it goes? The lycopene goes after it's in your bloodstream, it makes a beeline like a homing missile into your body fat. All right. And what does lycopene do in your body fat? Guess what it does? It starts to trigger uh, uh, your body fat to burn itself okay. down. And mm. so it and specifically your visceral fat. Now, any other research about tomatoes? Here's there's another study that was studied in Portugal. So a group at the University of Porto in Portugal studied young women with normal body types. So they weren't looking for super obese people or super skinny people, ordinary people, students, young college, uh, uh, women in college and also in grad school. And they, they, they enrolled them in this clinical study to look at the amount of body fat they had. Body fat, like inflammation, you need some of it. It's really healthy, important for you. Um, it's just that a lot of it can be harmful. Right. You. And so they wanted to study what was the effect of tomato and lycopene. So they, here's the thing, there's an amazing study. They gave all these women, they gave half of these, only one tomato, one ripe tomato to eat an hour before lunch every day. That's it. No special diet, no special exercise, no trainer, no gym uh, membership. That's it. What, what's the power of one tomato in your body fat? And they found that if they did this for one month, a single tomato before lunch for an hour, <laughs> that over the course of a month, the women would lose two pounds only on the basis of the tomato with no extra exercise, just normal daily activities. And the lycopene actually acted on their visceral fat, which is the fat that's found inside the tube of your body. It's the harmful stuff that wraps around your organs that can trigger inflammation. Too much fat causes inflammation in your body and, inf and their inflammatory markers were also lower, okay, which is really good for 
uh, inflammatory diseases like arthritis. Right. And it was just one tomato. Speaking of eating, as promised, here's a tomato sauce recipe packed with ingredients known for their cancer-fighting and fat-burning properties. It's called Cancer-Fighting and Fat-Burning Tomato Sauce. I kind of like that name. It's identifiable. Ingredients. Two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil rich in healthy fats that support heart health and fat metabolism. One medium onion, finely chopped, contains quercetin, known for its anti-cancer properties. Four cloves garlic, mince known for its immune-boosting and cancer-fighting compounds like allicin. One large carrot, grated high in beta-carotene and fiber, supporting fat metabolism and overall health. One large zucchini grated low in calories, high in fiber, and rich in antioxidants. One red bell pepper, chopped contains capsaicin which can boost metabolism and has anti-cancer properties. Two cans 14 as each crush tomatoes rich in lycopene, a powerful antioxidant known for its cancer-fighting properties. Two tablespoons tomato paste concentrated source of lycopene. One teaspoon dried oregano contains anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer compounds. One teaspoon dried basil rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. One teaspoon turmeric powder contains curcumin, known for its anti-inflammatory and cancer-fighting effects. A quarter teaspoon black pepper enhances the absorption of curcumin from turmeric. A half teaspoon red pepper flakes optional, for added metabolism boost from capsaicin. Ground dried wakame to taste used as a salt substitute, offers a unique cancer fighting benefit through its fucoidin content, which has been studied for its ability to inhibit cancer cell growth. Fresh basil leaves for garnish. Instructions 1. Heat the olive oil in a large pan over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and saw until it becomes translucent, about 5 minutes. 2. Add the minced garlic and salt for another 1 minus 2 minutes until fragrant. 3. Stir in the grated carrot, zucchini and chopped red bell pepper. Cook for about 5 minus 7 minutes until the vegetables soften. 4. Add the crushed tomatoes and tomato paste to the pan, stirring well to combine. 5. Season with dried oregano, basil, turmeric powder, black pepper, and red pepper flakes if using. Stir to mix all the ingredients thoroughly. 6. Lower the heat and let the sauce simmer for 20 minus 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. This allows the flavors to meld and the sauce to thicken. 7. Taste and adjust the seasoning with salt as needed. 8. Remove from heat and let the sauce cool slightly. If you prefer a smoother texture, you can use an immersion blender to blend the sauce to your desired consistency. 9. Garnish with fresh basil leaves before serving. This sauce not only bursts with flavor, but also supports your health with ingredients that target cancer cells and assist in burning visceral fat. Enjoy it guilt-free as part of a balanced, health-conscious diet. That's delicious. Dr. Lee, any last comments? One of the things that we need to do better in medical training is we need to teach doctors how to cook because if you can't walk the walk, you can't talk the talk. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.